Hi, this is Dan Whitney with the Whitney Law Firm here in Towson, Maryland. If you found this video, it's probably because you want to know, can bedbugs travel through walls? Well, the answer is yes, absolutely, they can travel through walls. They do it all the time. And that's why hotels and apartment complexes have such a terrible time dealing with infestations. So I'm a lawyer. Um, I've been handling bedbug cases for about 10 years, uh, primarily here in Maryland, but in some other states. And a lot of the cases I handle are bedbug cases. So bed bugs can travel through walls um, really in any scenario, whether it's uh, in apartments uh, or hotels, and they get through the walls by traveling through the utility penetrations, uh, cracks in the wall, uh, electrical uh, outlets, um, cable TV wires, um, and really anything else that connects, uh, connects the rooms. And what happens is whether it's in a hotel or an apartment, uh, an infestation will, uh, will begin in a room and the bugs eventually uh, spread to other rooms. And a lot of uh, negligent property managers or landlords, what happens is they only treat the room where the problem is initially reported and they don't treat, uh, they don't inspect and then treat if necessary, the adjacent rooms above, below and side to side, which of course is critical when you're treating a bed bug infestation. The, ring, the reason being, if you don't figure out where all the bugs are and you only treat one room and not the other two or the other other one from on the other side that's infested the infestation is simply it'll go away for a couple days or maybe a couple weeks but it will come back as the bugs in the adjacent units um, come into that room that was once infested and of course if they're in one it just spreads and spreads and spreads so if if you live in an apartment and your infestation has bed bugs, of course, when you report it to the landlord, the landlord should absolutely say, or should absolutely take the necessary action and inspect all the adjacent units. But oftentimes they don't, uh, of course, because it's, it's a money issue, it's expensive, and it's also hard to coordinate in dealing with not just you, if you're the tenant with the problem, but also one, two, three, four, you know, at least four other units very often. It's expensive and it's time consuming. Uh, so very often they don't do it. Of course, some landlords just don't care. Uh, they only want the money. They don't care about the tenant's well-being. That, that factors in too, unfortunately, sometimes. Some of the more ruthless landlords. But that, that uh, gives a quick answer to the problem uh, or to the question, do bed bugs travel through the wall? Of course they do. Uh, and, and the fact that they do causes a lot of harm and ends up um, being a, a reason that many uh, negligence cases get brought against landlords and hotel managers uh, who don't take the necessary steps and inspect the adjacent units and treat if necessary um, when the infestation is coming in from the other units. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have more questions about bed bug or uh, bed bugs or bed bug litigation, um, just please watch some of our other videos. And if you have any questions or want a video to be made um, to address a specific question, please just leave something in the comments um, and I'll do a video on it. So if you, if you want a uh, free consultation, we offer those. Uh, just give us a call, 410-583-8000 uh, or go to our website, www.whitneyfirm.com. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, take care. Bye.